This is Cyber Frequencies. I'm Queena Kim. And I'm Tanya Miller. Today on Cyber Frequencies, we're launching a new project. It's called Decade 911. It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. I just saw another plane coming in from the side. In the lead up to the anniversary, we're going to hear a lot about what the pundits, politicians, and experts think. But we want to hear what you think. And we're asking you to take out your smartphones or cameras. And videotape your friends' and family's opinions. Uh, My name is Patricia Warren. I'm this interviewer's grandmother. This is from contributor Jackson Musker. I'm 87. I live in uh, Los Angeles. Jackson emailed us this videotape of his grandmother. How did you feel about the way that we responded to 9-11? When the president went after them in their own country, I approved of that, but it did seem to take a long time. My name is Andrea. On September 11th, I was in high school in rural Ohio. It was my first year in college. During class, someone said, hey, turn on the TV, there's something going on. The first thing that went through my mind was it was probably an airliner was flying too low or something. Our high school was about 90 miles from Pittsburgh, so I think that all put more fear and dread into us, especially when the plane went down in Pennsylvania. And we saw the footage of the people jumping out of the building. I had never been scared like that before, never really thought of the U.S. as vulnerable. I remember being afraid to go to New York after that and just this feeling like everything changed. How are you going to commemorate 9-11 on September 11th, 2011? Nothing special. I'll probably put out my flag and I'll remember it. I'm going to try not to feel sad on September 11th. On the past anniversaries of September 11th, I think it was such a traumatic event that um, I do feel like I relive it a little bit on every anniversary. Oh, are you a child of the free to be you and me generation? And are you confused with the world around? 